Hi everyone, I'm going to program a STM32 through an Arduino IDE through the serial USB FTDI. The STM32 is a 32-bit processor and is more powerful and has more memory than the Arduino 8-bit processors in the Arduino Uno R3, Micro Nano, and Pro Mini. You will see the STM32 processor within the popular NACE32 and FLIP32 Plus boards that others and myself use to fly quadcopters as you see here. Wouldn't it be great to program one of these STM32 boards in Arduino projects instead of the limited 8-bit Arduinos? The reason I'm doing this is there's really no instructions, so I thought I'd share and contribute to the community. Alright, so here we are with an STM32 at the bottom and an FTDI board on the top. As you see, it's a FTDI 232. I had to move the jumper from 5 volts to 3.3 volts. Here's a picture of the STM32 on the top. As you can see that this is the specifics of the model number and this is a development board. You'll need to move the boot zero jumper from zero to one. Place a black wire on ground and a red wire on 3.3 volts. If you look in the manual you'll notice that TX is PA9 and RX is PA10. So in this picture you can see that I hooked up PA9 to the yellow TX wire and PA10 to the green RX wire. You can see that I hooked up the yellow TX wire to the RX on the FTDI and the green wire to the TX on the FTDI and the red wire to the VCC and the black to the ground. You can download the latest Arduino IDE from arduino.cc. On Google search for STM32 Arduino, I clicked on the second link there. I copied that URL in that text box that you see. On the Mac you may need to install the VCP drivers if you haven't already. In a terminal I do a CD tilde slash Arduino slash hardware and then run that git clone and then that URL that you copied and then start up the Arduino IDE. In the IDE select board and then generic STM32 F103C series. Select tools upload method then serial and again tools variant and then select 20k RAM with 64k flash. Plug in your USB wire then go to tools then port then dev TTY USB serial. Now load an example sketch by going to file, then sketchbook, hardware, Arduino STM32, digital, and then load the blink sketch. A blink sketch is already running when you buy the board. The default sketch looks like this. You can see that it's using the PV1 pin. Go ahead and hit the restart button. Hit the upload button. Wait for it to compile and upload. See it uploading? It was successful. And notice that it's not working. <laughs> now go ahead and replace PB1 with LED and go ahead and define LED with PC13. Now go ahead and hit the reset button or restart button again. Let it process successful. So nice, it is PC-13. I had to follow those copper trails up to PC-13. Now hit reset again and let's see if we can change the code. Change it from 1000 to 100 milliseconds. Upload it. Notice it's faster. Well, there you have it. Crazy instructions and all.
I know they would have helped me.